What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. In this lecture, first I'll teach you how to embed JavaScript code in your HTML document. After that, we look at the different ways of linking an external JavaScript code to your HTML document. And finally, we learn about when and how to use the NoScript tag in HTML and why is it important. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Here on the left I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code and on the right I opened up the same HTML document using Google Chrome. To embed JavaScript code in HTML document we use HTML script tag like this. So just before the closing body tag, I'll create a script tag. The opening script tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, script, and right angle bracket. And the closing script tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, script, and right angle bracket. Now inside the script tag, we can write JavaScript codes. So I just put one simple built-in JavaScript function called alert like this. This function will display an alert box and it takes one argument. It's the message that we want to show in the alert box. In this case, I just put a text message like this. Double quote and I am an alert box. Semicolon. So now every time when we open this HTML file in the browser, this block of JavaScript codes will be executed and display an alert box. Let's save this and see how it works. Okay, it worked. As you can see, here's the alert box, here's the message, and that means the embedded JavaScript codes are executed. Now let's learn how we can link an external JavaScript file to our HTML document. Here I have one JavaScript file called alert.js. And it has the same alert function we used earlier, but with a different alert message. And it says, hello there. To link this alert.js file to our HTML document, we use script tag again, but with src and type attribute like this. So the opening script tag here and closing script tag here. Now I'll add src attribute on the opening script tag like this. src. It stands for source and its value is the path to the JavaScript file we want to link. In this case, it's alert.js. As you can see, both alert.js and index.html file are in the same folder. So the value of this src attribute looks like this dot forward slash this means current folder and alert dot js and the next I'll add type attribute like this type and its value is the media type of the script in this case it's text forward slash javascript By the way, if you want to learn more about all the available media types, you can find the link in the description below. Now, I'll save this and see what happens. Okay, it worked. Here's the alert box, here's the message. And that means the JavaScript code in the alert.js file is executed. Now, let's learn about async attribute and differ attribute we can use with script tag. If we add async attribute on the opening script tag like this, it will tell the browser that, hey browser, load this JavaScript file at the same time while you are loading the other page contents. Don't wait until the page contents finish loading. Or if we add differ attribute on the opening script tag like this, differ it will tell the browser that, hey browser, take your time and load this JavaScript file after you've finished loading the other page contents. 
And if you don't add either async or differ attribute, it just means to tell the browser that, hey browser, load this JavaScript file immediately. So that is how async and differ attribute works with script tag. Now let's learn when and how to use no script tag in HTML and why is it important. There are some cases that user might disable the JavaScript in their browser either by accident or on purpose. In that case, browser will not be able to run our embedded or linked JavaScript code. Let me show you what I mean by that. First, I'll disable the JavaScript in my browser like this. I'll right click, inspect, and I'll click the three dots and I select run command. Here I'll type disable. Okay, I'll select disable JavaScript. Now let's reload this page and see what happens. I'll just reload this page. As you can see, the alert box is not displaying. That means the linked JavaScript code inside alert.js file is not executed, mainly because I just disabled the JavaScript in my browser. And now the question is, how can we tell the user that the JavaScript is disabled in their browser or their browser does not support JavaScript? The answer is by using no script tag in HTML like this. The opening no script tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, no script and right angle bracket. And a closing no script tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, no script and right angle bracket. Now inside this no script tag, we can write a message to the user like this. Your browser does not support JavaScript. Now let's save this and I reload this page. Okay, it worked. As you can see, here's the message we marked up with no script tag. Now let's enable the JavaScript and test it again. I'll just click three dots, select run command, and I'll type enable. Okay, I'll just select enable JavaScript. If I reload this page now, as you can see, the alert box is back and the message we marked up with no script tag is not displaying anymore. So that is when and how to use script tag and no script tag in HTML. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.